Hi students, welcome to Short of Sir classes. So today we have a question on Munch hypothesis. So this is interesting. Okay, Munch hypothesis. Now we have asked here Munch hypothesis that is based on, and we have okay, we have three. No, we have four statement or four option. So which of the following is responsible for? Or based on Munch hypothesis and in the option A we have translocation of food due to TP or turgor pressure gradient and imbibition force okay. in the second one we have only translocation of food due to TP gradient okay. so imbibition force is eliminated from here in the option B and in option C we have only translocation of food due to only imbibition force there is no TP gradient and option D is none of that well let me tell you this munch hypothesis okay so this munch hypothesis hypothesis that is based on the movement of phloem movement of the phloem phloem along the tp gradient along the tp gradient that is targa pressure gradient okay so this mass flow this mass flow of the organic element obviously that is based on or that takes place from the higher concentration to lower higher to lower concentration lower concentration Okay, so this was all about this question and answer we know that is translocation of food due to torque pressure or gradient. Okay, so answer will be option B. So let's see which is our next question. Now in this question we have the mechanism. So we have to choose the mechanism that is responsible for salt resistant plant for that that they can get rid of excess sodium ions to the outer side through the roots through the roots so uh, the plant can get rid of excess sodium ions to the outer side through the roots we have this question and here are some system like hydrogen ATPs uniport system sodium ATPs uniport system HCl H plus Cl minus symport system and sodium hydrogen antiport system well this is the correct answer for this question why I am telling you let me change the pain color suppose this is a membrane and this is the outer part and this is the inner part so there are some channel proteins there are some channel proteins through these and there is like okay this is kind of like this okay now we have to move out the sodium so sodium will be go outside in a plus and from outside H plus will go in and these are the membrane protein membrane protein that helps in transportation transportation and this that also assist this 
pump system pump system pump system and this pump system as one is going inside and other one is going outside there is a opposite direction movement if this is happening that is called anti port anti port system so sodium hydrogen we already uh, already saw that there we have to get rid of the excess sodium ions to the outer side so this is the anti port system by which the sodium hydrogen anti port system works and this is the correct answer so there will be the answer option d